So let's talk about what's going to happen to the baby right after the baby's delivered and the cord is cut. And it really depends on the hospital. Different hospitals have different protocols. Most of us nowadays, if the baby is looking good, will want to put the baby right up on your chest right away. And so the baby's put up on you, but sometimes if the baby needs some resuscitation or needs more attention, or in some hospitals just as a matter of protocol, the baby's put in the baby warmer, which would be um, right there by, by the bed. The baby's then dried off with a towel. Usually that towel's changed to a dry towel. You know, the baby's coming from a 98.6 degree, you know, your internal temperature environment, and it's going out to room temperature, which could be, you know, 68 to 72 degrees. That's a big change in temperature. And so we want to keep that baby warm. The baby will lose temperature very rapidly otherwise. <laughs> so we like to put the baby right on your skin or put it under uh, a heater in a warmer and wrap it really good in a towel um, or a blanket to keep the heat in. The other thing that has to be happened is the cord has to be trimmed. So they'll put a little plastic thing on the umbilical cord and trim that off right at the plastic thing. That just keeps it from getting tangled up in things. Some other things that will happen is there'll be um, two medications that will be given to the baby. One is an antibiotic eye ointment that's given, um, and that's to protect the baby from diseases that it might have picked up as it came through your vagina. If not treated, it's rare, but it could happen the, that can be a cause of blindness. And so we give that antibiotic ointment to all babies just to keep that rare event of having a baby become blind from an infection it gets from your vagina as it comes through. The other is a medicine called vitamin K. Vitamin K is a natural um, vitamin that's made um, by people to help their blood clot better. It's made by the liver, and the baby's liver usually doesn't kick that vitamin K in for several days, even up to a week. And so we give the baby a little shot of vitamin K so it can have that working while the, it's waiting for the, the natural occurring vitamin K to kick in from the liver. And that helps decrease bleeding or bruising or other problems for the baby. So those are both very important things. At some point, the baby will be weighed, um, and um, different hospitals do that differently. Some hospitals do it right at your bedside. Um, many hospitals wait until the baby goes to the nursery. It'll also get a bath because the baby comes out with a lot of stuff on it. You have blood and amniotic fluid and something, um, you know, you know other, other stuff that can get on the baby, and so they'll clean the baby off. And that's often done in the nursery. So usually we'll, you'll keep the baby with you for some amount of time, an hour or so. Then the baby and the baby's dad will go to the nursery, and um, they may weigh the baby there. That's when they'll clean the baby off. Now, it used to be um, as an identifying factor that they'd make footprints of the baby. That's pretty much not done anymore, although we still do it sometimes um, for your baby book or as a little memento, but we really don't do it um, for any kind of medical reason anymore. The other thing that is, will happen is they'll put a band on the baby, and that band will have a unique number. You'll get a band to wear as well as one other person, usually the baby's dad, and you'll make sure that the numbers match every time the baby's brought to you so that you can make sure it really is your baby. Um, and um, that's very important, at least in our hospital, I'm sure most hospitals, they will not give you the baby unless you have a matching band to prove that it's your baby. So that's important to leave that band on. That's a very important safety measure to make sure that you're getting your baby um, when they bring you the baby. So that's kind of what to expect as far as um, what's going to happen with the baby after delivery. MedTwice.com